Hi everybody. Um, in relation to my last video regarding the starter motor, I thought it might be interesting if we did a video on how a starter motor works. So let's get into that. Here's a drawing of a starter motor. Okay, so as you can see, we've got several components in the starter motor. This is a cutaway version. It's a, a simplified version, but it'll do. You've got your main armature and uh, a motor at the bottom. At the top you've got your solenoid and to the right which is coloured green is the arm that swings the, the drive gear or the drive pinion or the Bendix gear which there's a few names for it into the flywheel to engage it. What happens in this case is when you turn your key power goes to your, to your solenoid on the top. The solenoid engages and pulls backward and the green lever forces the Bendix gear into the flywheel teeth. Once that's engaged correctly, the, the solenoid is allowed to go fully to the rear. And what you can see there is a contact disc. That contact disc makes contact with the terminals, which allow power from the battery through to the starter motor to turn the motor. So here you're asking, how does the starter motor stop turning once the engine starts automatically? Well, it's all down to the shape of the gear, the Bendix gear. Once the engine take starts and speeds up, uh, the Bendix gear is flung out of the flywheel gears because of the shape of it. That flinging out action, flinging that gear to the left, forces the solenoid to disconnect the contact disc at the top. Once that's disconnected, then there's because you've let go of the key already, there's nothing there to keep the solenoid back, so it just goes back to its relaxation position, which is to the right and the gear wheel stays out and then because we've the contact disc is disconnected from the contacts there's no more power going to the starter motor and that's pretty basic on how that works what i suspect the problem is with my starter motor is that contact disc or the, the contacts it's contacting against is either dirty or maybe burnt or maybe just they might have fallen apart inside i don't know what's happened until i look in there but i suspect because the starter motor still works that the solenoid contacts are the problem. Now, whether you can get that apart and fix it, I don't know. I might be able to, once I take it off, I can have a look, but I suspect that uh, they're probably burnt out. Well, I hope that's been of some use to you. If you didn't need to see it, then you didn't need to watch it. But uh, I'll uh, see you on the part two of the fixing of the starter motor once I get older one. See you there.